So here we are. We're getting ready to get out of here. There's pork and beans down here. Pork and beans. We're going to save you from this place. So we're uh, we're expecting the water has already uh, started to come over the bank. We're uh, we're uh, getting ready to leave. We had we've been working for uh, at least a week now to try and get some of our stuff out of the out of the water level that's pending. It's supposed to get, they say, right to the water level, uh, I mean to the, where the windows are on our house over there up top, you can see in front of us. There's water in the yard already, so uh, we can only stay here so long and then we have to leave and, and uh, when we come back we'll see what we have left. These are the back of some of our buildings here. Our sauna here, we're going to. The the puppies are having fun in the water. Trying to get me wet anyways. We're uh, coming to where some of our stuff is. Our, our food shack, our dog building where we keep the dog food and stuff. And now, I'm heading towards the front. There's where we keep our our food, you can see it's, uh, the water has breached that and it will, they tell us, should go right up to where the, the lock is on that building. I'm hoping that's not true, but that's where it's going to be, uh, that's where it'll end up. The, some of our buildings here, where we keep all our food and stuff and, and our gear. We got most everything up on top, and uh, you can see the the river is pretty much level to the bank now, and in some places it's come over. And this is still early in the flood stage, so this is just the beginning. And uh, we'll uh, we'll get a lot worse. So. Hopefully we can come back and the cabins haven't uh, gone anywhere and they're still standing and we're, we're going to be leaving them. <clears throat> and here's uh, the front of the cabin over here. So we got some of our stuff ready to be taken back with us to Cumberland House. I got my, my canoe is there and, and so on. And uh, you can see that water out there just really moving. It's probably moving now at, uh, I'm just guessing at uh, only uh, 2,000. So uh, 2,000 cubic meters per second, I guess, and it's supposed to go to, uh, supposed to come up another uh, 1,500. So we'll make it around 3,500 cubic meters per second and uh, that's what we're going to have to deal with here and then we'll see when we come back home what we're going to end up with. I got some stuff loaded. I loaded uh, the quad there. Yesterday we... We had... Uh, the Cumberland House, uh, the mayor of Cumberland House, Andy McKay, sent some of his crew over here to help us move all our stuff up on the uh, higher uh, places so we could, uh, you know, maybe save some of our stuff that we're going to be here because we can't take everything with us. We got some dog food here we're going to take with us and. Uh, so we're getting ready to go and uh, Renee, what did you think of the boys coming from Cumberland House yesterday? Wasn't that... Uh, yeah, really, really good. Made you feel like you were from Cumberland House when uh, Andy uh, 
Okay, send all his people here to, or his workers, his town workers, to come and help us uh, move some oh, stuff. Wasn't that nice, eh? Yeah, and that uh, Cumberland House is uh, supporting us, and uh, as it is supporting all its community members in this really difficult time. So we're really happy about that, and that made it a lot easier to uh, take, <laughs> I guess you could say. So that's what we have going here. And here's our, uh, our my grandpa's canoe here. Uh, it's the only place we could put it for right now. When hopefully when we get back, it's still there, and uh, maybe I can repair it again. That's probably our oldest thing uh, we have here. Well, there's other old things, but it's a uh, real keepsake. My grandpa's canoe. He must have. I don't know when he bought that. And, Maybe when my mom was born, I don't know, and she's almost 90, so <laughs> uh, maybe I'll move that into the house just before we leave and uh, try and keep that because it's the last of my grandpa, uh, Dual McKenzie's equipment, so... Uh, We'll see. We're going to do the best we can here and see what we can save. And we're going to move the canoes, and uh, we'll, we'll see what we're going to end up with. And there's uh, pork and beans. Those bums, they're they're pumped up. They they think this is a great deal. Hey, pork and beans. We see. Okay. Anyway, that's it.